Well, hi everyone, and thanks for joining me again on today's Two Minute Memo, which is the source of it all. Abiding in the love of God is our only hope, the only true home for our hearts. It's not that we mentally acknowledge that God loves us, it's that we let our hearts come home to him and stay in his love. McDonald says it this way, when our hearts turn to him, that is opening the door to him. Then he comes in, not by our thoughts only, not in our idea only, but he comes himself and his own will. Thus the Lord, the Spirit, becomes the soul of our souls. Then indeed we are, then indeed we have life. The life of Jesus has become life in us. We are one with God forever and ever. And that from the heart of George MacDonald. Or as St. John of the Cross echoes, Oh, how gently and how longingly dost thou lie awake in the depths and center of my soul, where thou in secret and in silence alone, as its soul, Lord, abidest not only as in thine own house or in thine own chamber, but also as within my own bosom, in close and intimate union. That's from Loving Flame of Love. This deep, intimate union with Jesus and with his Father is the source of all our healing and all our strength. It is, as Leanne Payne says, the central and unique truth of Christianity. And that memo today was by John Eldridge, and he wrote a book called Wild at Heart. I'd encourage you to pick it up. Uh, it was written for men, masculine journey, but highly recommended for women as well. It just was a game changer for me in my life. Bless you all, and this has been the Two Minute Memo.